Um, I'd like to start with talking about choosing your subject. You guys are going to spend years sometimes with these people and these topics. Mm -hmm. How do you decide what to do? Nanfu, why don't you begin? Well, first, that was actually a challenge because our subject was the one-child policy, and China has more than a billion people. <laughs> so almost everyone has a story about the one-child policy to talk about. So eventually, we decided we want to do 360 degree with the policy, people who carried out the policy and people who mm -hmm were the victims of the policy. Mm -hmm. What turns out when we started meeting people, we realized even the people who carried out the policy, they are part of the victims too. Mm -hmm. So that was actually, we decided officials, midwives, women, and people who does propaganda. Mm. And we decided to choose one of the represent, representatives of each. We have a lot of archival. Almost mm -hmm. all the archival are produced by the state. So it's showing the state propaganda, and almost that's all the role that the archival played. And when I grew up, I grew up in the propaganda. Everything I saw was propaganda. propaganda. So there were right. songs, theaters, movies, and before I could even speak, you know, I, I learned songs, meaning that I don't know, like communism and socialism and everything. And this became the back of my mind, and I don't even question it mm -hmm. until now I'm ma making the film. And for the first time, I'm looking back to my past and realized how they had affected the way that I think and realized how, how much my ideology and worldview was shaped by the propaganda. Mm. And now I'm finding them again. Luckily, because how much the state produced, I believe Russia is the same, that is everywhere. So we would go on internet, YouTube, you know, and then also oh. antique bookstore, we would find a ton of those propaganda. About Here the in the US policy. or in China? You Both. Think? Like oh. even YouTube has a lot of people uploaded it. But of course, back in China, there were way more. It's so interesting, Nanfu, growing up surrounded by propaganda that you would choose documentary filmmaking as your profession. Do you see any link between those two things? Well, I had never even seen a documentary until I came to the U.S. in 2011. I came and I was 26 and thought I was going to become a journalist who could write about the right. injustice in China. To and Ohio, by the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in Ohio. And then I took a documentary class and there I saw so many documentaries for the first time. I mean, I told Alex that I saw Taxi to the Dark Side twice in the class. <laughs> and, <laughs> and But that was that moment. I was like, oh my God, I never knew that documentaries could be like this. Because in China, with the censorship and the restriction, the documentaries are about Chinese magnificent landscape, our <laughs> history, and great Chinese food. And that's about it. And I thought that was what documentary was about until I finally saw it could be about social issue. It could be compelling and about characters. And that was like, OK, that I want to do this. Thinking about audience, is there one person who you really would love to have see your film? Ironically, like, I, like the people that we want to see the film most are the people who can't see is Chinese people because I've had, we make film hopefully that would challenge the official narrative in China and the people there, mm -hmm. because the information was so restricted that they tend to believe the propaganda. Still, my friends all turned against me and say, why do you make a film that damage our national Im image? Mm -hmm. And so I lost a lot of my closest friends because mm -hmm. they believe that I got brainwashed by the Western mm -hmm. media. Oh, uh -huh. And it was funny that even my mom, who saw the film, my mom has never been to a movie theater, talking about your mom. She's never been to a movie theater before. And so I brought her to Sundance, because I thought if she's ever going to see a film of mine, that would be the experience, because she was in the film. And after she saw the film, she was like, yeah, your film was so true. And so it mm -hmm. was everything like I witnessed. But I still support the policy. So oh. it, yeah, it just showed me how effective wow. the propaganda was. She lived her entire life there. Mm -hmm.